Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. Today I'll be showing you these two projects I made, and it's, one is rock, paper, scissors, and the other is hangman. So, let's begin. So the goal of this project was one, to build, uh, to successfully build two projects, a hangman and rock, paper, scissors, both of which would, would allow you to play against a computer or to make your word and have other people guess your word. The second goal was to handle bad inputs, such as capital letters, words um, that are more than one letter, or symbols, uh, which are bad inputs. And two, to use the turtle. So I had to use turtle to draw hangman. So designing and building, uh, the design and building process consisted of programming the two games, so writing the code in Python, and this, uh, I had to use libraries, functions, and other statements. And, but it also required me to think about issues and create code that would help me handle those issues. So malicious inputs and um, instructions that I had to give to the user if they didn't know how to play. And also making an interface that can keep track of points. So in rock, paper, scissors, there are points, and you have to keep track of those. This required me to make and use libraries, functions, as well as statements, logic, and math. This is some of the code that I used. These are just snippets, so they're not the whole code. Um, these are the most important parts of each code, each project. These are the functions that I used using Turtle to draw the uh, parts of the hangman. And this is the main part of the rock, paper, scissors code, which details... Um, how the computer and player score points. And there's some information on that. So if I could have done this project differently, I would have added more input handling to the Hangman project, so handling more bad inputs, and I would have also improved its drawing, which you'll see later. Um, some problems I encountered was making the Hangman using Turtle, so having to draw it using Python Turtle, and making each part of the body a function that I could call in the main file. And the problem with the rock, paper, scissors was ensuring that bad inputs are handled properly. So I will now show you guys a demo. Right, so in this one, you have to choose rock, paper, or scissors. So if I choose rock, It'll say here, this first statement here is who won, so in this case the computer won. This is what the computer chose, and rock and paper beats rock. This is how many points I have, and the computer has one point. And now it's asking me again, so let me try paper this time. This means that I won, so the player won, the computer picked rock, and paper beats rock. So you have one point, the computer has one point. So we can do this several times, so if I choose rock again. So it says here, you won, do you want to continue? Oh, and also, um, if the computer and player choose the same uh, choose the same um, action, then it'll say go again and no one will gain any points. So I have one. You can say, do you want to continue? Uh, yes. So if I say yes, it'll continue, it'll go back and uh, continue the loop. If I put in some, if I just press enter, it'll say invalid input. If I press four here, it'll say invalid input. Or if I press like this uh, random stuff, it won't. It'll put invalid in. So um, I can keep playing here, and that is rock paper scissors. So next is um, next is hangman, which I will show here. Um, right. So uh, for this, I had to use a. Uh, library, which were the functions that we saw in the previous slide. Um, I called it Turtle Ishan because I used Turtle 
And this is our word bank, which I probably should not show you guys. Um, so yeah, here's the hangman itself. And you, uh, you can just move it here so that you can also see this. So this is our mask, and it's basically um, all these asterisks represent uh, possible letters. So if I put here in a, if I put in a guess here, S, it'll say incorrect. Now I only have six chances left. It calculates the chances by finding the length of the word. So the length of the word is how many chances I have. Or actually, the the how many body parts are in the hangman is how many chances I have. So if I put um, A here, it'll say correct. So it shows me the position of those two A's. If I put um, L, good. So J, incorrect. So if I put incorrect, it'll draw a little head here. Or if I put Z, it'll draw the neck. Um, or N is correct. O, it'll draw the right arm. And if I keep going, if I put in a number, it'll put, you can't enter a number or symbol, which was the bad input handling. If I put, if I just press enter, um, it'll put, you need to enter at least one letter. You need to enter one letter. If I put some random letters here, it'll put, you need to enter only one letter. So, let me just, um, here, and if I, oh, wait a second, um, so, if I put, what do I guess, if I put, um, let's try J, I already guessed, and if I put something that I already guessed, it'll say, you already guessed that, because I guessed it here, it'll say, you already guessed that, so if I try, let's try and lose on purpose. So here it'll say game over because all the body parts are filled and the man is complete. So it'll ask you again, um, game over. Okay, and that is hangman. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hey, does anyone have any questions for him? Uh, yeah, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Did you go back to the uh, demo area? Demo area, okay. The place where you just showed like, the Python area? Oh, which one? Hangman or rock, paper, scissors? Anyone. Okay, yes. The blue text, if, if you can click on you can click on the thing right next to it, right? Huh? Is so uh this? yeah, could you delete that? No, you cannot delete it. Okay. It's a, it's an output, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because okay. it's an output, you cannot delete it. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh which uh, project did you enjoy the more? I enjoyed the hangman project more because I get to um draw the hangman so i have to find out you know what angle to rotate it and um what uh what length each body part should be so like the arm has to be 15 or the neck has to be 15 or has to be 5 or 10 so that requires some uh some thought as well um the art of rock paper scissors was also good though okay sounds good all right awesome let's give it a round of applause